Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and really, really quick, let me just take you on a trip down memory lane. My very first sporty car was a Neon SRT4, and it was blue. My next actual real sports car was a C6 Z06, which was blue. Now, my real real sports car I got a couple years ago for my birthday was a 911 Turbo S, and guess what color it was? You'll see there's a theme here. All my favorite cars are either blue or gray. And believe it or not, the 911 is a super reliable car, and it replaced the i8 as my daily driver, and I already put over 10,000 miles on it. By the way, the i8's for sale. Email management at richardbills.com. Anyways, also the only car that I have that has a warranty. That's right. The 911 Turbo S has a warranty, and the only catch is you have to take it to Porsche for its $400 oil changes and keep up with maintenance. Easy stuff like $2,000 tire replacements, and if you need new brake pads, just the pads are $2,000. Everything else is $2,000 on this car, including the front lip that I cracked, which is actually $2,900. Boo-hoo, my Porsche is expensive, wow. But this is more of a PSA for you if you all were to get a used 911. Turbo S. But since I got the Rivian again, which is also gray, I haven't really had the time to drive the Porsche. And while I live in the Northeast and winters are brutal. Well, sure enough, winter came and I started driving the Rivian instead of the Porsche because it's such a great truck. And I let the Porsche kind of sit there neglected outside in the cold and snow, which is fine because it's just a car, right? The 911 is the every man's daily car and an alternative to supercars. You can drive it every day and leave it outside. Or so I thought. But Rich, why didn't you just park the damn car inside? Well, uh, fun fact, I have a car in there already. And this car is arguably more important than the 911 Turbo S, the Corvette C4. Yes, the Project C4 is indoors. And again, Rich, why didn't you just put the C4 outside and the 911 Turbo S inside? Well, how do I put this? I don't want anyone to know that I own a C4. So one day I was greeted to every error message known to man and also a seat that didn't work. Thankfully, the car is under warranty. However, remember what Porsche said, all maintenance has to be done in order for the warranty to be valid. So I'd have to get new tires and the oil change as they suggested. Little did I know this wasn't a warranty claim, a colony of mice that have exquisite taste managed to eat the wiring in the Porsche. The Sherp, Nah, the farm truck, nah, the Model X, I don't know why I still have it, but no, Rivian, no, they didn't want to eat that. They wanted to eat the Porsche leather seats. Porsche wiring and leather just taste better, I guess. Well, the Porsche was there disabled, and my loving offspring decided to also open the door on the body line of the Porsche. But wait, it gets better. They also ate the wiring under the seats. They ate the seats themselves. Anyways, can it get worse? Not only did the mice eat the wires under the hood, as the temperature dropped, they migrated to inside the car for warmth in the form of leaving their feces everywhere. Why must they do this to the one material thing I love most besides the Z06, which is also blue? But the betrayal from mice, from my own son, and none of this is my fault because this is the C4's fault. Rich, we want you to finish the C4, so I garaged it, and whenever I would walk by, I would see it, saying to myself, yes, we should get on that, but not anymore. The C4 is no more, and if you want the C4, the email address is managementrichybills.com. Now, the C4 is a liability, and if we want to build one later, we can, but for now, this one is done. If you want to see a video on a non-working C4, just go to Sam's channel. It's easy. Almost as easy as making a website with Squarespace. It's easy to claim a domain or URL like www.whycantmicecontinue to live outside and mind their business.com or www.thesun from my second family in Argentina would have never done this.com. So then you can create a custom site that matches your style and enthusiasm. Check out these page templates because they'll make your web page look better than the shredded seats in my 911 Turbo S. Head to www.squarespace.com slash which rebuilds to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code in the description box below. Shout out to Squareface for making platforms for people's passions, no matter what kind of accidents happen in the vehicle you love. Now, please watch as I cry about my first world problem for the next 20 minutes. Maybe do the throwers, you just kind of... Bing! That'd be awesome. Yeah, that makes me scared. Yeah, I know. Scared, that's when the that's when the car goes with a big fat for sale sign on it. Stop back on. They're stuck. Yeah. So I'm saying, oh. bolt back on and we'll give it a tappy tap. Oh yeah. 
Love that. This is scary. I too am scared. Pucker factor of the left. I'm not. Right now. Yeah, of course not. Just a little one. Easy. Easy. Nice. It's the um, galvanic corrosion from the steel hob and the aluminum wheel. And you can literally see the rust pattern right in that Yeah. Deal. Oops. What's this? Oh, never mind. I thought that was the cords coming out. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no. That's worse than I thought. Good. You know what's funny? Not a single speck of brake. I know, right? I know. <laughs> Not an ounce of brake dust on these wheels. Not a speck oh. of brake dust. Because it's all high end stuff. It's yeah, like never. I've never. Cheap I've, I've. The last time I washed this car, maybe a month ago. Not a oh. speck of brake dust. Yeah. That's impressive. Very impressive. Well, you also have to use the brakes in order to get brake dust. And That's true. Dust, I, so. just, I just use the accelerator. <laughs> One pedal driving. <laughs> Isn't that nerve-wracking, all the cracks in it? Yeah, that kind of scares me. Yeah. yeah. Like, apparently it's normal. It is. It is. I, I, I freaking hate taking the wheels off in these. Because all you got to do is just me. whack it in the corner right. and it just... And the whole thing cracks. Yeah, I know. And the thing is, see all the cracks. Yep. When you do that, you can't tell what's normal. It's, it's waiting to crack right now. It's like, yeah. mm, I think I'll crack tomorrow. How yeah, the pads, how the pad, oh, it's not bad. I have some decent pad left. This is one of those situations where if you had to replace it, I feel like you downgrade instantaneously. People actually, well, you know what people do when they get the carbon ceramics? They sell them and go to steel. Cause like the steel ones are better for track. Carbon ceramics are just, I, they look cool. And they, <laughs> and they stop on a dime. They'll put yeah. your head through the windshield. But other than that, that's really it. <laughs> You guys were gone. There's been a lot of changes to the metal. Right here, those are now clear. The car has been lowered an inch and a half, front and rear. I also added the GT3 side skirts and wheel spacers. Look at that rear end. Look, right here. Look at that, look at that nice. Would you look, look at, at that. Would you just Doesn't look that at fit it? in beautifully? So she sits lower, the wheels are flush now, and it has the side skirts. So this is a really good start. What's not a good start is this dent right here. We have to get that fixed. Is that why you gave Henry a frozen bag of peas? This is where the problem lied. These are where the mice live. The mice live underneath the airbox, and what they would do at night is they would crawl into the interior because it was warm, and they would chew all the wiring underneath the seats and also chew the leather under the seats as well. I mean, if you can't get meat, you know. Do they literally Eating do, leather is the Do next... they eat meat? I think they, are they omnivores? I don't know. That'd be kind of, watch, no, this flesh, the rats bite flesh. Anything would eat, yeah, I guess you're right. could. If, if it Except vegans, too. but they would too. They're just pretending. Right, they're, they're just lying about it. It's they, like that they, vegan. They used to, they used right. to eat meat. It's like that vegan dog. Two bowls here, right? Oh, no. One is full of vegetables <laughs> and one is full of meat. Oh. Storm. Obviously gonna go, obviously. Oh, you little. Yes. I didn't swear. Oh. <laughs> and there is oh, no. the oh. selection. Oh, no. It was one morning, I just had to start the car at least it tried to start. It took like six or seven cranks to actually go over, which is bizarre for these. They usually kick off right away. Uh, immediately, I got an ACC light, PAS light, the brake light, no power steering, and no headlights work. Okay, maybe it's the battery. Pick up the tray, test the battery, nothing. Um, I didn't have my code scanner with me, unfortunately. So I said, you know what? The car's under warranty, so it should probably just go to Porsche because this is the first car that I've had that's under warranty, which is amazing. It's a pretty so, exciting feeling, isn't it? Pretty exciting feeling. So sent the car to Porsche. Uh, they got back to me and they said, you know what? Uh, they're tracing some wiring harness issues, which is not very common for these cars. And um, they ended up taking the front bumper off, uh, the air cabin cleaner off, and they found a giant rat's nest under it. all kinds of shit down there. I know. They started eating all of the wires under here near the battery, and then they crawled in the interior, started chewing up the leather on the seats and also the airbag wiring in the center dashboard. I feel bad, I feel like an idiot, because I used to always pride myself in saying, hey look, it's just a regular car, you can park it outside, right? No. 
No. No, 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 no. You that could, but... You could. There's, there's reasons people don't. So this is what uh, Porsche of Burlington treated me with. These are the chewed wires. Oh, they even labeled the bag. It's like when you get your, uh, your confiscation thing Pretty from much. prison. Or when you have to pee in a cup. They also yep. label it as well. Yeah. This is only a small fraction of what was chewed up, but look at this. Those little sh They chewed that. Uh, this wire was completely chewed. I have to cut that out. They said they didn't want to save all of it because there's no real point. And don't forget this. But I just wanted to give you proof. That connector was chewed as well. So I was treated by that. But the car's on the warranty, so it's fine, right? Sure. Unfortunately, the car was not. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> this, this did not cover it. So if you look here, you know, um, there's a uh, read out the faults, road and damage, front car, replace several connectors, repaired and place nine wires, CAN bus, ACC, PAS, high beams, brake fluid warning, four wheel drive warnings are no longer present. Da -da -da -da. No big deal, right? That's, that's not something that I really wanted to. Imagine thinking, oh, it's on the warranty, it's fine. It was in fact not fine. That was the first page. Okay. Oh, it's not over yet. The second page, not bad. 800 bucks, right? Next page, an additional $1,500. <laughs> and then the last page, yeah, 16, 19, uh, 7, 49, uh, 15, 27, uh, and then 2,036. So do the math, that was kind of a lot of money uh, for a car that I assume was under warranty. You know what was under warranty? This hose right here cracked for the windshield washer nozzles. That was for free. Oh, wow. I think I have that. That's at least here. a 48 cent this hose. Is, this is really good. What's That's the real nice. Is? Washer fluid's leaking. Windscreen washer hose removed and reinstalled. No charge. Who's that? It's a PDR guy. So this is the dent that uh, this lovely man is gonna fix for us today, hopefully. He was one of the few people that weren't scared to tackle this. Everyone's just like, meow, 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 Porsche. Meow, 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 Porsche. Meow, meow, it's at the seam. I can't do it, meow, meow. You think you can do it? Spicy Volkswagen. It's the spicy Volkswagen. <laughs> it's like a Volkswagen Beetle. Yeah. Pretty much. What's the process to, to actually fix this? Uh, biggest thing is just getting a tool behind the dent to slowly massage it out. I've been able to work on a couple of these in the past. Okay. To get in this area. Take out the rear tail light. And there's an opening here that we'll be able to slide a, a real thin tool down in, get on the body line, bring it back where it needs to be. Okay. All right. I'd love to see it. Okay. So we really thought this would be a lot easier. We didn't realize that this is <laughs> somewhat of a fixed panel. So when we open this, there's no way for him to get the tool down and go all the way this way. So what we have to do now is put the wing in service mode. The wing goes up about two or three inches higher. I can get access to take these off on both sides and then remove that rear fixed wing before the, um, the manual wing goes up. So service mode it is to get access to that. After you do service mode, we have to take about 37 things out <laughs> in, the, in the rear of it to uh, make it make sense. But Again, thank you, Porsche. All right, you, we got this. Ta-da. That was stressful. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just throw that old wing anywhere. No one cares about that. I'm assuming so, this is just a clip-on. This is a clip-on thing. I think the next step is removing the entire engine because Porsches, I don't know why they do this. You're right. You're going to grab the engine hoist Just right, out. yeah. They got the hoist out. Yep. Put a... <laughs> That's funny. This has got to go somewhere, right? I mean, you, you work on Audis. You know the deal. You know how terrible this is. I used to have an RS7, used to have an RS7, oh, yeah. and it was just, man, I got rid of it before things started getting real hairy, you know what I mean? I completely understand. How do you like your S3? It, it gives me fits. Yeah. yeah I've yeah. got a love-hate relationship with it. Audi tings. It needs a heater core currently, so I can't, what? I can't wait to pull the dash Oh, that's a it. dashboard job. Oh, no, my friend. <laughs> how many, what, how much is that job at the dealership? Oh, I don't even know. 1500 easily. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm. So, do, yeah, do it yourself. So you don't have heat, what you're saying? I have very weak, nice, warm a breath. A heater core? What year is that? 16. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's out of the van. Yeah. Trying to be gentle for the camera. No, no, it's all right. <laughs> for the camera. <laughs> no, I don't I have... I can just see the Porsche people in the comments right now. Yeah. I can't How dare you? Why don't you have white gloves on? And I think fans have That's to come. True. I think everything has to come up pretty much. Just seems kind of chintzy, doesn't it? It's like it just kind of. Oh, this reminds me of like a PC fan. Exactly, exactly. I think on every other car that I've owned, popping out a taillight. I, I have a Hellcat. Taking out the taillight and the Hellcat, 19 seconds probably. Yeah. You peel the thing out, you undo a few knobs. Fans, you're done. Yeah, and it's a three piece thing too. This is like, yeah. I think from these, here, I think it's these two. 
these two, and I think this has to. Oh, does this, it? I think so. Look at them. Hey, look. Couple of My favorite part about this is that we decided to do it in a hot engine. Yeah, this oh, is yeah. a mix that makes it that much more fun. You're making this look easy, dude. Getting there. Now I know what to do when I uh, when I get those clear tail lights, which I probably won't get. Okay. No pressure. Yeah, right. Is, is the channel the same? Does it actually go through? That's kind of neat. You nailed it. So we're just using this light to yep. give me a good reflection of where the tip of my tool is inside the panel so I can accurately push and bring this body line back to where it needs to be. Now this is useful uh, applications and other things, right? Could be. Okay. Pushing your tool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you just did the Leo DiCaprio voice. <laughs> Pushing your tool on the what? What'd you say? Wham? <laughs> yeah, it's on, only, for, only for girls 25 and under, wait, not too far under, but from 25 to 18, Leonardo DiCaprio. Right, yeah. You know when a woman's like pregnant and there's like a, belly, a baby in her belly yeah. and you feel the belly like make all those movements and it's stuff? Exactly, Is it kind of like that? It's exactly like that. Uh, you know I've been having a hard time with the Porsche and the whole mouse thing. Uh, Mike, you remember Mike? Mike and Megan? Uh, they found out about the hard time that I was having and they decided to make something for me. Watch this. We didn't record the process of your baby Porsche. But here's a few videos and pictures from Mike's first project. First carve the wax model. Second, cast the model in investment. Third, burn out the wax model. Fourth, pour in the molten precious metal. And fifth, days and days of polishing. What are you doing in there? Right here. Oh, look at this, a gold 911 turbo. And they even made it with the wheels that I want. Look at that thing. It's it's real. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? This is absolutely incredible. I feel like they're, it's going to get stolen at some point. Well, that's why he put this on here. You know, but it's, it's very, not just a tow bar. It's so also so you can secure it around your neck or something. Ex exactly. Actually, I don't, I'd rock. Would I rock this? That's no, not really my style. No, but you'll enjoy it forever. But this is really, really that's cool. That's super. Oh, you, should, uh, you should do the uh, typical. Oh, the bite thing? Yeah. People bite gold. Why are we buying this? I don't know. Do, I mean, do their teeth know if it's, oh, maybe if it's soft gold. Well, 24 carat maybe, maybe is, you know, the higher carat comp. Maybe, maybe if, it, if it, you bite into it like mozzarella cheese, you know, it's real. Say, hmm, it is real gold, but it's not. Or it's cheese. Or it's cheese. Wait, wait. What about fool's gold? Pyrite? Cheese, it, ooh. Ooh, you that know, sucks. Why do we, here's a dumb question. Why do we put such value on gold? It can be used for a ton of different reasons, manufacturing, you know, processes. A lot of things that we use today use gold and have gold in them, like gold foil, whether for heat sinks and electronics, or even for various uh, high strength and long-term use tools. Mm -hmm. But like, why do we put a value on it? Well, everything has a value. Is that true? It's a precious, it's considered a precious metal. So oh. therefore, you know, the rarity and scarcity create right. hyper -value. But, why, but why do we have Inflated it? Inflated value. Why do we have it on our, but there's no real, well, nothing, nothing really matters. Well, if, if you think about this, right? So like gold, yeah, it's cool, it's scarce, but let's just say we take away currency altogether and it's just people, you know what I mean? In their, people, most, people natural, what? In their the most natural form. And we have to use like some kind of barter system for like trading things, like services. Like let's just say he's doing this right now in the car, right? Yep. And we're not exchanging money because I'm not paying him. <laughs> So what, what does gold matter in that case? Look, okay, it's just us, right? We're in yeah. the woods. We're in the woods. Okay. In the woods with men and women. Loincloths. Right? Mostly women. Yes. And, and loincloths. It's, it's, leaves. It's, it's us and them. Yes. There's banana leaves. Yeah. Right? Or what, coconuts what, for what, the... What is not coconuts? Not, not in my world. <laughs> What's the value of gold then? You get what I'm saying? Like, like in that situation, the value would be placed on, I guess, sticks and who's the strongest one that could fight and like fight off animals like wolves and things like that. Yeah, survival of the fittest. In our day-to-day -day use, like what value does gold have like for us? I know there's gold in iPhones and stuff like that, but why do we have to, why is it important? You're, you're not 50 yet, so you don't care about gold. Yeah, I, I guess you're right, yeah. I, you know, I guess the way boomers care about gold, you, the older, older you, you get. get you to, look, my gold bars. You start changing from, from having like a, a, a watch that's silver and whatnot, right. then you get gold.
You sure. know, like, oh God, go yeah. watch his they video. put on the hamburger meats. They do the Listen, thing. And uh, yeah. if there's anyone, I don't think anyone under the age of 50. Yeah. Anyone wearing a gold watch. If you're watching this right now um, and you're wearing a gold watch and you're below 50, take it off. Take it off. Put it right in the trash. <laughs> we watch shaving people yeah. more. Well, no, I'm not watching. But it's just, you, it's just you it's, are. It's, it's more of like a style choice. You can have a silver watch. You could have a brushed aluminum watch. But if that's what people, you can somebody a, prefers. You have a rubber band watch, but it just doesn't look good. You kind of see where it's going. Yeah, we're doing Oh, that. oh it's right there. Yeah, we're doing that currently. He's doing it's that. just, um, it's a very slow, you gotta be real slow. Those are probably the mice, all the dead mice. Yeah, working the through just piles of mice poop. Shrinking it, getting there. So at what point does he buy a new car? Uh, last week. You're just essentially massaging this. Yep. Yeah, small pushes at a time. All the uh, infomercials and stuff you see on TV of people popping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, well, that just works on it. plastic bumpers, right? When you the hot water on the plastic yeah. bumper, that's the only place that that works. Pretty much. Anywhere else, you're 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 fooling no one. Yeah. Well, you're fooling a lot of people, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the real sad part, isn't it? People are, are young and impressionable, and, and they, they see a thing, and they think that that's, that's going to be the end-all, be-all. Well, it works on TikTok, so... Right. Well, we're definitely not trusting TikTok, and that's why we have you, because on, on a vehicle like this, I don't think a, a TikTok trend is going to... You know what is nice to watch on TikTok? Oh, she's like... He's tapping. He's tap, tap, tap it in. Oh, there, see it? Oh, yeah. There's a kick. It's a boy. It's, is it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> TikTok's a, it's satisfying, like the landscapers with the weed whacking. Yes, yeah, no, I'm looking at that right now. You are? That's cool. All right. That's. <laughs> See? We're getting there. We still got a little bit more finished work, but the majority of what is left is actual the missing paint. So I'm gonna clean up that very center section and then smooth out the clear coat and we should be in good shape. But that was an extremely tough, well, yeah. right on the body line. I like seeing people who are good at it. That's amazing. I know. Well, I was saying to him earlier, like if you if you looked at it from here, you can't even see the dent You anymore. could see it beforehand yeah. head on when you looked at it from now the side profile. See it. I, I didn't think it was gonna be, I, honestly. I, no, not, not that he's not here. I didn't think it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Oh, yeah. I, I had zero, zero faith zero in a person yeah, yeah. Can uh, you believe that? from the internet, from, on, on Instagram of all things. Man. We'll that's... drop in your touch up and your. Yeah, once your touch up paints it. Because like, now the only indentation little... there is from the paint that's actually removed. That is crazy. No, I, I thought like... it was all voodoo. I thought it was like, you know, chiropractors. Doesn't... That's stupid. Yeah, let's, let's, not compare... that, let's not compare this. I'm limp. One, two, better not two. <laughs> Hey, it worked. Everyone paying for a chiropractor service right now, and it's it's not real. It's it's not real. Go to yoga. Yeah, take off your gold watch. Do do yoga. Take off your, take gold, your gold watch. watch and go, go to yoga. yoga. Get go to yourself yoga, right. Stretch. I don't think any characters or chiropractors are actually watching this either because they're yeah. busy scamming people. <laughs> so they're not gonna. It doesn't matter anyways. How much closer can we get to these uncomfortable? You think? Wow, this is amazing. You know you're doing amazing work right now. I appreciate that. All right, Rich. You did an awesome job. What's up, man? Hey, I just wanted to, uh, you know, give you the slip. We can kind of settle up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No problem. So, dude, I'm just really, again, I just, he did, you got to really think good. about modern technology sometimes. Well, we should probably pay him. And um, just the, what you're able to do with just really basic tools are just, it's just, this is amazing. We should pay him. Like though. two like metal rods. He just puts it in there and he does the shimmy thing and it's all set. Are you, are you trying to justify that? That's so easy. And it was free. This is John. John is ready to do stuff. He's got his apron on. You want to play a game? Why is that leather? We're here at uh, our dear friend John's shop, Elite Auto Sports, and uh, we ran into some issues with the Porsche. We found out later on that they started eating the bottom of the seats, too. So the seats didn't move back and forth, and they actually started chewing up some of the leather on the seats, too. They're hungry. And John is actually going to repair the seat for us. Hmm. Take a look. Might as well. This is how you repair seats. Right. Yeah. Rats really like Porsches, I guess. Yeah, I like it's kind of like pit bulls like Teslas. Showed the pit bull biting and tearing her vehicle while she and her dog were in it. <laughs> no, the dog is not me. The pit bulls also like children. What the hell? John. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? Look at them. 
he was working real hard. This is Lead Auto Sports. John also lives here. That's his kitchen. Let's let's go take a let's go let's, let's go take, go take a tour go. of the place. This um, is my this is my bed. John sleeps here. John, you like a real firm mattress, I see. Very yes. firm mattress. Uh, this is the uh, defecation area. This is my flusher. That's where Abby flushes. And then over here, this is the kitchenette. Uh, this is the cupboard where uh, all the dishes and cups are. I won't open that. But anyways, John, anyways, what, do you, uh, what do you have for the seat? Well, this is what we found. Oh. Where they chewed it up. This is ridiculous. Look at the look, 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 mice teeth. I'm gonna keep this. Oof. So Porsche leather. Porsche has a very funny smell to it. It smells like a yes. Porsche. They also smell like that. How do you replace these exactly? Oh, that's a big oh, one. This. Wow, it's serious. Thanks. Yeah, it looks nice. So, there you go. There's Porsche leather. Oh, wow. Does it it's, smell like it? It does, yeah, so, go ahead. Yeah, this came from Germany. Yeah, so is the entire seat like this, or? Um, I got a little ideas. Okay. I want to switch it up a little bit for you. Show us, John. This is one of your door panels I already ripped apart. Okay. So I was thinking of uh, maybe doing you know, some Alcantara and some plaid. Okay. What do you think? Uh, I think this is a good idea. It looks good. Everything here looks good. Okay. Just no plaid. You don't like plaid? No. No. You told it's, me you like my scarf earlier. I, 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 I lied. Plaid is like, it reminds me of a Volkswagen GTI. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like a Porsche or it's not like a thing. It's the same family. Porsche, Volkswagen, same thing. Yeah, but like it makes it look kind of cheap. So like no plaid. No plaid. Just make it less, just elephant hair. This looks really cool though. So was your idea to have, the door cards aren't bad. I still don't want plaid in here. But okay. the, the seats are a big no. If the seats are just, if you could do the OEM leather that was on the seats, that'd be cool. Because okay. the mice chew that up. Just a regular straight. Can I ask you something? Still, yes. We've done a couple of projects together, right? Yep. Do you trust me? No. What's in this box, Stephen? Rims for the Hellcat? Close. 40 pounds of rice. That's not close at all. Have I ever told you about ShipStation? Yes. ShipStation is a very easy way to sell things online. You could integrate it with your stores like an Etsy, an Amazon store, or an eBay store. And the reason why ShipStation is great is because it takes all of the stress and hassle out of shipping things. You could automate very simple and very advanced tasks from a really cool dashboard. You automate shipping tasks. You could prep labels. We don't label people, but we don't we don't label people here now. Uh, but what we can do is we could also compare shipping quotes and delivery times for the products that you're sending out. Isn't that great? You can get up to eighty four percent off USPS and UPS. That's a very specific amount. A very specific amount. But if that's not enough, you can use my promo code to get ShipStation for free for two months. Now, over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business profile with ShipStation. And this is long rain and rich rice, by the way. 98% of the people that use ShipStation become customers for life. For life. Life is a long time. It's like a life sentence. That's yeah. like the previous Hellcat owner. Yeah, dude, I think she's dead. Go to ShipStation.com slash Rich Rebuilds for your free 60-day trial. Free. Free. Six months later. Good speaker on this thing. What the heck is this? Where did you find this? Uh, dude, that's not me. Oh, those furries? I can never understand like the whole point of like furries and stuff. It's just people Why are you dressing, dress up like animals? dressing in like animals that it doesn't make any sense. This makes me uncomfortable. Go to go to an adult video. Their website. What? WWX video. What's up guys? What's Hi. up, John? Hey. Um got your car already. Okay. It's all set. Wanna go check it out? I'm sure we're all excited yeah. to see what it looks like. Yeah, let's go check it out. Ooh, man. I'm gonna let the work speak for itself, dude. Real quick so you can get a better view at it. Oh. All right. I decided to go with uh, with some plaid. I Change the that. stitching to blue because of the exterior of the of the, uh, of the car. There's a blue stitch in the plaid to make it look nice. You know, we're still in the same family. We're still in the Volkswagen group. So this. I thought fit really good in here. A little bit of a uh, Alcantara on the sides. So now if we pull it forward, I also do the uh, back seats. Oh. Back seats look awesome. I love it. Then we do the headliner as well. Matches my scarf. A little bit, a little bit of plaid here. A little bit more Alcantara. So yeah, so everybody uses regular round perf. 
I decided to go with a square perf because Alcantara actually makes a square perf. So it's little squares. And the plaid. I'm just gonna leave this right here. And um, you officially did Get the fuck.